LDAP server installation. In this video, we are going to talk about how to install Open LDAP on Fedora 29. What is a directory service? A directory is a specialized database optimized for reading, browsing, and searching. Directories tend to contain descriptive attribute based information. They have advanced filtering mechanisms. What is LDAP? LDAP stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. As its name suggests, it allows you to access directories. LDAP Directory Tree This picture shows you how the LDAP Directory Tree looks like. Let's further discuss about the LDAP directory tree. Just like any tree, LDAP directory tree also starts with the root entry. The tree is usually arranged based upon internet domain names. This naming approach is becoming increasingly popular and it allows for directory services to be located using DNS. An entry is referenced by its distinguished name which is constructed by taking the name of the entry itself called the relative distinguished name or RDN and concatenating the names of its ancestor entries. Let's take a look at this example. Here the tree starts with the DC equals com root naught and then from there it goes down to DC example naught. So this is the domain name example.com and then it divides into two organizational units. One is people and the other one is servers and under people we have J Smith who is a person with the UDID J Smith. So here the relative DN is UDID equals J Smith. And the absolute DN is UDID equals J Smith or you people DC example DC equals com. So when you are getting the DN, you go from bottom to the top, bottom to the top. What is Open LDAP? Open LDAP is a free and open source implementation of LDAP. Similar products, Cential, Univention Corporate Server, Free IPA, Microsoft Active Directory, 389 Directory Server, Jump Cloud are some of the similar products to Open LDAP. Installing Open LDAP. As shown in the screenshot, you can use the DNF install command to install OpenLDAP clients and OpenLDAP servers. Once it is done, it will show you the complete message. Next, you can set the LDAP server administrative password using the SLAP pass WD command. So it will generate a hash of the password. Then you can copy the LDAP configuration file. It is usually located in the user share open LDAP servers folder. You can copy it to var lib LDAP folder. And they can, then you can change the ownership of the var lib LDAP folder using the chown command. Then you can import the open LDAP basic schemas. So here we are importing cosine LDIF nice ldif and inet org person ldif so we are importing three schemas here the next thing to do is to set the ldap configuration using mod domain ldif so this is that file and here we have the password that we created earlier after that we have to run this command called ldap modify and we have to pass in the mod domain LDF as a file. 
to verify if the LDAP modify ran properly, we can run the LDAP search command. Next step is to create a base domain using base DNL diff. So this is the content of the base DNL diff. Then we have to add the domain using the LDAP add command. And we have to pass base TNL diff as an input. After that, we have to create open LDAP server user accounts. First of all, we have to create a password. And here it gives the password hash. Then we have to create a file called add user LDIF. There we have to add the user details. For example, here we have a user called Charit Jayasekara. Then we have to add the user entry using the LDAP add command. And we have to pass in the add user LDAP as an input. We can verify the new addition using LDAP search command. Finally, we can open LDAP port in the firewall. Thank you.